literally right now. My friend Janelle, the owner of Bloomy, told me that she recently went to this man's farm where he has like storages full of dead stock trip. And he's only selling them for $5 a piece. So she shared the address with me and that's where we're headed right now. So we're in a hurry, so let's go. We gotta prep. Gotta put a lot of deodorant on. I'm not gonna take my bag because I feel like we're gonna do a lot of rummaging, but some choco milkies and some water. Let's get it three storage units on this land this is the first one that we're going to tackle and it was pretty picked through but i still managed to find a few cute pieces okay we're in the first container now immediately what's catching my eyes is faux fur cardigan i don't need black clothing right now but the fact that like a lot of this is trip and probably all and is alternative it's gonna be more on the darker side but for sure we're gonna grab one of these i'm not even kidding i'm pretty sure i had these exact trip pants back when I was in high school. And look at how skinny this is. Man, I really hope we don't bring back skinny pants because we definitely don't need that. I really wanted one of these. It's like a micro mini little dress and it has these red buttons and this huge ass bow on the front. But the zipper on this one is damaged and I don't know how to fix zippers quite yet. It's a little too hard for me. So hoping that I come across, oh, maybe this one and please be a medium oh it is a medium oh but the zipper is busted on this one too wouldn't that be so cute mm -hmm. i love that maybe should i just keep it just in case yeah arthur came across this one this would totally have been something that i would have worn in high school but now i could envision this with fishnets demonias i'm tempted to get it it's an extra large Larger sizes just don't do very well for me. And I was thinking of just selling it on whatnot. So this might be a maybe. Cute, but is it like too micro mini or is it pretty cute? Maybe something to wear with like trousers. And I love how it has the hearts and the bows right there. Yeah, Are nice. those hearts? Yeah, there's little oh, hearts. Oh yeah, that's kind of right adorable. This is pretty cute. Okay, we'll take it. Right. We've wrapped up at the first storage unit. So up next is this car trailer. They had a ton of boxes full of different skirts. So I just picked through and chose my favorite ones and only picked up two of the styles that I like. So don't worry, there's still a ton left. But this is just like a quick shot of the land. It's so cute because there's a ton of roosters and kittens. Y'all, they have so many hats. I'm going to try a few on because I feel like I'm a hat person now. But they have this brown one. I'm kind of feeling it. Kind of feel like Patrick Stump from Fall Out Boy. Yeah. <laughs> I got into it though. I like it. What do you think we should get? Rain. Arthur makeup? wants to get a few. Oh, not my thumb in the way. He wants to get a few Twilight necklaces for a giveaway. Okay, I feel like Jacob is pretty cute, so we'll do that one. That one? Yeah. But I think this one's cool. Though. This do? one is giving me Peaky Blinder. Mm -hmm. Kind of into that. Do you like this? I think or, it's really cool. Or you like the brown one better? I think it really goes with your hair, to be honest. Wow. I think, like, okay, Peaky Blinders, but, like, is it also giving Nana, especially with my brows? I need some of these. I'm kind of into it. I don't I'm not sure if I vibe with, like, the the <laughs> rainbow fish scale, the zipper. Oh, yeah. I'll show that. The zipper. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a little bright, but it's, like, rainbow scales. How does it look, though? A little weird? Uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit. Like, I'm going to go work out or something? Kind of, but a little bit more edgier, you know? Mm, okay, I think we'll pass. Not gonna lie, but it was a little awkward to film here just because it was so quiet and far from the city. So I didn't even know what volume to speak at, but we did get permission to film here. And so I was just going through all of these jeans, hoping to find some sort of straight leg, flare leg, some oversized silhouette, but all I came across were skinnies. So here's the second storage unit, which was full of more alternative clothing, but also a mix of just like a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Arthur found this style. It's kind of hard to tell if I still like it because it's giving a lot of these styles are giving 2010 but i really mm. like the ruffled top with the eyelet also the man gave us a flashlight because it's pretty dark back here yeah. but i'm just here taking a little chocolate milky break y'all this is the current situation we have the light thank goodness it's magnetic because i was holding on to this for a while but we just have it facing down into a box and i'm coming across a lot of pieces that still have sensors on them so i think we're gonna for sure leave 
these behind, but oh my goodness. High school Danielle would be screaming at all this clothes. It doesn't really look it from this clip, but these boxes are freaking huge. So if you are more on the petite side like me, prepare to go diving and you are in for a workout. There's also a ton of baby clothes too. That's adorable. I literally just bought something like this off of whatnot recently. And then look at this one. This is super cute too. If this were my size, I'd totally wear that. So if you are into vintage baby clothes, this is a place to get it for sure. And it's only $5 a piece. There is these size medium vests that I wanna check out, but a lot of them are in pretty rough condition. Oh yeah. Oh no. It looks pretty cool. Are there any in good condition? Let's see. No, that's like that was tore up to you. This one. Uh. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I think yeah, we should pass. Too. Here we have the final storage unit. So right away, I found this box of trip jeans, but he said he was gathering all of them for another customer. But this is where all the miscellaneous items were and the vintage clothing. So you can see this like little alt granny core sweater. And then he had a box full of these leopard wedge boots, which were not my cup of tea. But if you're into them, he has a crap ton and also a bunch of kids snow boots. So he was telling me that he really needs to get rid of all of them and he would give a really good deal so if you know anyone who needs kid snow boots definitely make your way over here oh, he's a nice boy no he's not oh no he's not all right y'all the goods have been secured i will give you a haul when we get home all right y'all we are home now i walked out with a whole box full of stuff but before we get started can we just take a minute to appreciate my nails i literally did them myself i finished like maybe three minutes ago and i love them so if you aren't doing your nails at home take this as a sign because this is probably my favorite set that i've done so far and it's so fulfilling but let's get to this haul i did pick up a few personals for myself and then a few pieces for whatnot so they're a live stream auction app where you can buy and sell items so kind of think depop and ebay only everything is an interactive live stream video it's pretty much where i get all of my clothes and my toki doki figures but my most recent purchase has been this paisley dress it's it's in red, obviously. I feel like my new colors now to wear are gonna be red, white, and black just because it looks the most flattering with my hair. But I got this from Really Me A Click for only $20 and it's one of my favorites. The live streams are happening literally all day long. You can find people selling clothes, jewelry, home decor, video games, VHS, literally anything you could think of. It's probably already on Whatnot, but I do have two shows coming up this month on July the 27th and the 28th, but the one on the 27th is the most important one because all of my items are gonna have $1 start bids. So of course I'm gonna have a lot of dead stock and Y2K pieces available, but the next day on the 28th of this month, I'm gonna have a themed live stream. So it's gonna be all alternative fairy grunge pieces. So I wanted to just give you a little quick sneak peek we have things like this camisole and I have various colors in that we have some bloomers these are coming out of my personal wardrobe they just don't fit me anymore so figured it's time to find them a new home and I'm gonna have some of the prettiest maxi skirts you've ever seen so things like this one here that has a whole bunch of volume and is playing with that blue brown color combo and going more traditional with the forest fairy we have this little green one I'll leave a link down below in the description box where you can download the whatnot app and it'll also give you $15 in shopping credit that you can either use in one of my live streams or someone else's I'll also leave a whole bunch of sellers that I love to purchase from in apps just so that it can make your shopping a little bit easier but I'll see you guys the 27th and the 28th of this month on whatnot for my live streams let's get back to this haul so Arthur actually found these they are twilight necklaces so these we're gonna be giving away for free on whatnot and you guys are gonna either love me or hate me for this but I am team Edward all the way but they didn't have any all that they had was this little framed Jacob necklace and then they had this other team Jacob necklace that doesn't have any photos or like a graphic it just has more charms on it so i told y'all in a previous video apparently i am a hat person now so i picked up these like newsboy baker boy hats and i got this one in charcoal which is pretty cute i feel like it's close enough to black so it'll go well with a lot of colors but then i picked up one in brown i don't wear brown very often but i feel like we're gonna make it work also i feel like i don't come across oh wow this one gives a lot of volume maybe a little too much I'm a 
little iffy on this brown one so i think we might just include her on a whatnot live stream but let's get to some clothes now i picked up so many petticoats and these are all like pretty mini but of course i had to get a red one this is just gonna look good with so many outfits but like not only to put under skirts but also just to wear them alone as skirts i think would be really fun so i got one in red had to get one in white also a black one and they all just have like an elasticized waist they're tiered and fairly mini the most mini one that i got though is this one this was the first one that i found and it's like this two-toned one that's magenta and black and then it has these cute little bow details on the front but if you're really thinking danielle that is giving halloween how the heck are you gonna wear those just imagine some bloomers underneath, fishnet tights, my demonias. It's gonna look so good. Hopefully you're not getting too tired of skirts because that's pretty much all this guy had. Like he had a ton of pants too, but they were all skinny legs. But this was perfect for me because like literally all I wear nowadays are just mini skirts. So this is my favorite one that I picked up. Look at the ruffles. It has a lace of detail. So it's giving cute and sexy pirate. But do you see the stretch? This is going to be so comfy to wear all day long. This one is my second favorite. And I know it looks pretty simple and boring. But I'm telling you, this is just a staple that I'm missing from my wardrobe. Like, I don't have just a basic mini skirt. And so I like this one. Especially because it's just like slightly elevated. With the little pleats that are peeking through. Also, how could I not like this? I'm literally wearing the gray version of this. They also had a lot of the same styles only in different colors so of course i had to get this black one that just has this lace over layer and it has all of these round studs on the front and then just a side zip closure and the same exact thing only in gray i feel like the details are a lot more noticeable and visible on the gray one but they literally had all sizes like ranging from small all the way to extra large so in 2010 peplums were all the rave and so i thought it was so cute that i came across this black one that kind of gives that peplum illusion only it's a little bit more tiered and then the under layer is what's pretty fitted around the legs and i recently recently walked into a Hot Topic literally this past weekend and I came across this photo here which I thought was so similar to this skirt only the more modernized version and instead of being fitted on the bottom it's more fitted on the top so I just thought that was so funny because styles are really just recycled we're down to our last skirt and it's this one right here so uh, I don't know if I still like this just because the more I look at it I'm just like why is that band so thick it's kind of giving maternity wear but i do like that it has an elasticized waist so it makes it comfy and at the same time if you do wear a lot of corsets or bustiers it makes it less bulky to wear over this but pretty similar to the other skirts it does have this like tiered ruffle detail and then this one has a little bit of mesh peeking through i only walked out with two tops so let's talk about the only shirt that i got i love this i know it's kind of basic just because it's a button-up shirt but i don't have one that is short sleeve and then look at this little embroidered crown on it so i desperately needed a white shirt in my wardrobe because the only one that i have right now i have ruined those pits because i'm such a sweaty girl so it's time to retire the one i have in my closet and replace it with this one and i did get a cardigan which makes no sense because it's so hot in los angeles right now but i mean come on it's black has button up closure and it has faux fur cuffs on it and when i tell you that the owner johnny has hundreds of these so if you really like this and you're in socal totally make the trip it only costs five bucks we're down to our last four pieces of clothing and they're all dresses i was most looking forward to this dress here because it's red and black goes perfectly with my hair it's also a little bit on the shorter side so it's pretty sexy but the thing is that on the top i fit like a small medium the bottom i fit a large so i bought both a medium and a large just to figure out which one would fit me best and the large has a freaking sensor on it. I don't know how to remove this because if I try to remove this myself or like break it with a hammer, it's full of ink, right? So I know it's a darker color, but I still don't want ink all over it. I was just thinking maybe I could go to Ross across the street and just ask them if they could remove it for me. But even that seems a little sketch and I don't want them to think that I stole this dress. So if you have any ideas, let me know down below in the comments. I swear I used to have something like this back in high school. Something about this print just kind of triggers something in my memory where I'm just like, yes, 
I used to own something like that. So I just had to pick this up, but it's another strapless dress that has this huge bow right on the front. It's covered in this plaid print. And I especially love that it's mini length too, but I know this looks so dated, but for some reason, I'm just really into it. We're down to our last dress, and it's this one here. You can tell that they kind of have all of the same silhouette. This one has an elasticized waist and another tube top or like strapless dress. Only this one has a lot of ruffle detailing on the bust and it has a few eyelets too. But come on, tell me this and that newspaper hat. I might be onto something here. But y'all, that pretty much does it for the end of my dead stock Hot Topic haul. This place was so freaking cool. So if you are in the Los Angeles, SoCal area, definitely check it out. I'll leave the information down below where you can contact Johnny. He's the owner. And I'm telling you, he has hundreds of pieces. He has like three storage units worth of clothes. So there definitely isn't a shortage. Although I will admit that it is pretty pick through. So a lot of the trip that is left behind, they're just skinny jeans, which if you are into reworking, that's always an option. Option, but the more unique rare items were already picked up But if you did like the styles that I picked up There's still a whole bunch left sizes ranging between extra small to extra large And if you do plan on going it is so incredibly hot So just hear me out when I say take some water bring a hat Just make sure you're staying cool Also a huge thank you to Janelle the owner of Bloomy for even letting me in on this place because otherwise I would have never even heard about it So Janelle, thank you so much But don't forget y'all that you can catch my whatnot live stream. I have two of them left this month so don't forget to bookmark them I'll leave a link down below where you can download the whatnot app and receive $15 in shopping credit but as always y'all I do post videos at least once a week I'll see y'all next one bye